Welcome back. We are back on the cabin build this morning and uh, it's going to be a great week. It's uh, It rained last night, so it's going to be a little bit cooler the next couple days. Maybe a chance of some sprinkles, but I'd rather do, deal with that than the 100 plus degree temps we've been having, you know, last week and the week before. So um, the goal for this week is to work on the deck, the decks, and uh, hopefully we can knock those out. Now, I'm not going to say it's 100 percent for sure because well, I've been saying I want to work on the decks the last two videos and, and well, we haven't gotten that done yet. So anyways, hopefully this week we make some good progress on the decks and then we can start working on uh, second floor walls after that. And I do want to take a minute to thank you for watching because, you know, you watching the videos makes me feel like I'm not alone, that there's other people kind of here participating and uh, that makes me feel really good, especially this week. I'm, I am actually up here alone this week. Uh, Lucas, my helper, is homesick. Hopefully if he feels better um, next day or so, he'll come up and join me the second part of the week. But um, for now, it's just me. So if you're watching this video and you see some, you know, sketchy stuff, just know if it made it on YouTube that I probably survived. If you don't see the video, then maybe something went wrong. But anyways, if you're watching and you see this, just know it all, it all turned out all right. All right. Let's dive into it and uh, see what we can get done this week. All right, so I did get up here last night and uh, I want to show you a quick uh, little review of what I was able to get done last night. So we got the ledger board over here, this guy, all screwed on and the hangers for the joists all attached. Then we put the as many joists as we could on, and we got a little board out here to hold them straight. The brackets are where the posts are gonna go. We got three posts in the middle and then two big ones, <clears throat> two big ones on the ends. So over here you can see our post. So we got a big one, our three little ones, and then another big one. So the big ones are eight by eight. 8 inches by 8 inches by 20 feet and the smaller ones I'm guessing are well they're 6 by 6's and I think they're like 16 feet so they're a little shorter a little lighter so I'm gonna start with putting up the the shorter ones the smaller ones just kinda of for practice I think I can probably just muscle those in the larger ones though those those babies are heavy so we're gonna have to engineer up some way to get those in place and uh, and swing them up, hopefully without them falling down, hitting me, or falling down the hill. But anyways, and then uh, there is a second floor deck that goes right above this one that I'm standing on, and these beams here go between all these floor, all, between all these posts, and then we'll hang the rest of these uh, floor joists from that to the house. So, in theory, it should work, but let's let's dive in and see how it goes. Well, we got the first three beams up or post. These are the short ones. These are the 
16 foot um, six by sixes. So those went up pretty smooth, but now it's time for the big ones. These are the eight by eight um, 20 footers. So you can see here, here's the first three posts are up. This will hold up the second floor deck and part of the handrail for the second deck. They're all braced. Pretty plumb. Yeah, you know, plus or minus a little bit. But now it's time for these big guys. So we got the 8x8 20 footer down there. I'm going to go get the excavator. It's warming up right now. Drive it around, see if I can lift it up. Use that to do the heavy lifting. I'm going to try to get it, try to get the base uh, positioned here and then swing it up and maybe get it resting here. And then I'm going to shove it out to there. And that's approximately where the top part of the post needs to be. So hopefully that'll hold it while I go put some braces on it, some diagonal braces. I've kind of put it a little bit further out, a little bit further to the right. So it should lean into that. Um, but anyways, let me go grab the excavator and we'll see how it goes. So what we have here is a two by eight ledger board, and these are little metal hanger brackets. So your um, floor joists will set in here, you'll push this up, nail it in solid, and then that'll hold up your uh, deck. So we got two of these boards to fill with hangers. They're both 16 feet long and 32 hangers. We're putting them one foot on center for our deck. So one of the fun things, let's see if I got my tape measure with me, I do, with working with uh, this green wood, working with um, uh, pressure treated wood, is you know, it's a two by eight. So you look at this one, this one has shrunk to about seven and an eight. Um, usually they start out closer to seven and a half, seven and five eighths and then as they dry they shrink a little bit they both these ledger boards must have been cut the same time because they are they're both a little thin so what i had to do because you can't really reference where to put the hangers based on the size of the the thickness of the 
ledger board because it may change. Is I created this little jig, basically just a little piece of plywood screwed onto a two by. And I've got my marks here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there's mark, a little X shows where the joist goes and the line. So you move this over to where you're right on the line. And now your piece of plywood is right where you'd want your floor joist. And you know you get this set to a consistent distance. Now I did seven and a half, hoping that the floor joists aren't gonna shrink that much. I think the main thing is to be consistent. As long as you're the same on both ends and all the way across, hopefully everything shrinks the same and it's it's not an issue. So anyways, you put your uh, bracket in here, slide it up till it's tight. This will hold it square. And then uh, nail the three holes and then move on to the next one. And so that will set the height of these hangers consistent with the top edge of the ledger. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to level the top edge and we're not going to worry about the bottom because this, this particular ledger is actually a little thicker in the middle. It's closer to seven and three eighths in the middle and seven and an eighth on each end. So a lot of variability here, but uh, we're seeing what we can do to deal with it. And um, we're moving on. We've got to remember, we're not building cabinets at this point. We're just building uh, a deck. So I've heard in the aviation industry, when they first create a new airplane, they make the engineers and all the people that built it go on the maiden flight. You know, just to kind of make sure that they did their job and, and tested it, designed it correctly. So I think we should do that with deck building. We gotta test it out. at least for now. So in this clip here, you can see the real reason we brought the four-wheeler up onto the deck. Um, not just to test it for strength, but that was a side effect. Um, but it was to actually put these posts, put these beams up between the posts. So they are um, six by tens and they're about eight feet a little less because they got to fit between the post which are eight feet on center and they got to go into these little metal brackets so they got to kind of go above the brackets and then drop in um, now I can't think of any way other way to do it by yourself um, short of having like a forklift but um, you know with two people maybe you could use ladders and each carry an end up they're not terribly heavy but they're they're pretty awkward um, but with the four-wheeler, it was pretty easy, so we used the winch on the four-wheeler and the cable goes up through a pulley that's just out of frame on the top and then back down onto through the beam. Easily lifts it up and then here you can see I'm just going up the ladder, kind of positioning it by those little uh, uh, brackets it has to drop into. Once we get it dropped into the brackets, um, it's just a matter of letting the winch out and letting it uh, fall, let gravity take over and drops it in. Um, once all the beams are set, the next um, little sequence here, we're going to see putting up the hanger brackets on these beams, and that'll be to support the second floor deck.
So all the hangers are up. We got the hangers along the house and we got the hangers along the, um, the beams that support the deck. So now it's just time to put in floor joists. So let's start cutting and see how these all go. All right, that's gonna wrap up another week on the cabin build. So this week we got the both the first floor and the second floor decks framed and put up, and that was a solo adventure. So kind of interesting trying to figure out how to do things when you're working by yourself. But the digger and the four-wheeler, especially the winch on the four-wheeler, really helped out a lot. So uh, next time, hopefully, we'll be working on second floor walls or maybe the second floor truss. There's one timber truss out on the front um, not sure yet. I got to make some calls and see what material is going to be available. But if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like it, go ahead and hit subscribe down below. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.